Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can send Firebase notifications to a device from Postman. First of all, I'll have this link in the description below. You can open this link and you will see this. So you'll already have the data that are required to send and you'll already have this URL. So you can just copy and paste this in your own Postman collection and you'll be able to send notifications. Now, this is the URL that you need and this is the body that you need to send in this URL to send notification to your device. So if I try to send this, I get this error that says invalid authentication credentials expected OAuth 2 access token. So let's see how we can get this access token. And one other thing that we need is we need to get project ID. So first, let's start from project ID. How can I get project ID for my project for which I want to send the notifications? So first go to Firebase console and then select your project to which you want to send the notification. Now inside this project, to get the project ID, just click on this settings icon and click on project settings. And this project number is the project ID that you need to use. So I'll just copy this and paste it here in the project ID. And you can do it same and you can do it for your project. And now this is the full URL. Now we only need authentication credentials. So how do we get this? To get this, go to this URL, OAuth Playground, and you will see this list here. And this list scroll down till you see Firebase. So here, as you can see, you see Firebase app check, Firebase app distribution, cloud messaging, and so on. We need to select this Firebase cloud messaging and choose this Firebase dot messaging. And just click on this authorized APIs. Now you will need to choose the account in which you have created your project. So my test project is in this email ID. So I'll choose that email ID itself and click on allow. And now you'll get this request response and click on exchange authorization code. And now you get this code here, access token, token type is bearer, and this will expire in a few minutes. So you need to quickly test this. So just copy this access token, go to your postman, click on headers. And I already have an authorization header. In your case, you might be seeing something like this. So if this is the case, just type authorization, select this. And as you can see, the type is bearer. So in your value, write B-E-A-R-E-R -E -R first, and then it's B-E-A-R-E-R, -E -R, right? Yeah. And then paste the header. Sorry, paste the value that we had just copied from here, this value. And now you are done. You have everything you need. You just need device token. So if I click on send, I get this error, invalid argument that says registration token is not a valid FCM registration token because you need to enter actual token value here. You need to get the registration token from your Android device or your iOS device or your web device. So if you want to see how you can get the registration token for Android app, iOS app or your web, you can just click on this general and scroll down here. You'll see this thing. Just see, check SDK instructions and it will show you how you can add Firebase SDK to your Android app and how you can get the registration token. Similarly, you can do this for test web app. It will show you how you can get registration IDs and so on. So yeah, this is how you can send notifications. So you need this URL, you need the project ID, you need the token ID of the device to which you want to send the notification. And finally, you need an OAuth header. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.